tape of the season against the Padres, and we welcome you to it. Jody Jackson with you. We've seen this team go from struggling offensively to piling up hits and runs. Their win last night, 7-6 to six over the Padres, and it's been such a more confident feeling around this team of what you can see it with the hitters. Pitching-wise, Robbie Ray goes today. He'll be opposed by Garrett Richards. We turn it over to Steve Berthium and Bob Brenly. Guys, it's been fun to watch. The D-backs were 2-5 and five against the Padres at Petco in those first two series. With a win today, they can even it out at 5-5 five and five on the year. It's amazing, Jody, how things turned. Bob, the Padres looked almost unbeatable in that first series of the season, but that's kind of the way the Diamondback season has gone. It wasn't too long ago when the Astros were in here and the Dodgers were in here that things looked a little bleak. A little bleak. <laughs> they look really bleak. And when you're not getting base hits, when you're not scoring runs, everybody looks fat, flat. Everybody starts pressing. I mean, uh, there were no big hits. There were no hits, period, in the early going. Pitchers gave up a lot of long balls, a lot of base on balls. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong through those first 11 games. But in the last 10 games, it has been a completely different story. You talk about having fun. Ball players have fun when they're running the bases, when they're sliding in the dirt, when they're making defensive plays, when they're getting big outs like that. That's when baseball is fun, and the guys are really starting to get into it. Yeah, the first uh, 11 games, they scored the fewest runs in baseball. The last 10, they scored the most runs in baseball. And remember, this year, eight teams get to the postseason in each league. And right now, the Diamondbacks are in that final spot and moving up. Well, uh, the, the future is bright. It was very bleak at the beginning of the season, but the team is finally starting to hit their stride, starting to feel good about themselves, and starting to tingler their skipper today. Trent Grisham will be out in center field. Manny Machado at third base. That guy, Fernando Tatis Jr. at shortstop. Stop. Eric Hosmer at first base. Tommy Pham will be the DH today. Jake Cronenworth at second base. Edward Olivares in right field. Austin Hedges doing the catching. And Jorge Mateo in left field. And the Padres suddenly have lost a season high four in a row to drop back to 500 on the year. They are reeling a little bit. And they'll face the left-hander Robbie Ray this afternoon. He is your D-back starting pitcher presented by Nissan from 1,000 for his career. Now the strikeouts uh, seemingly have always been there for Robbie, even when his command uh, has been spotty, when the opposing team hits him a little bit. He still records the strikeout, so I'm pretty excited about seeing number 1,000 here this afternoon. It'll be a great moment for him, for sure. Lost uh, some hair along the way, too. He's a little uh, tighter upstairs. Yeah. Let's take a look around the diamond at the D-backs defensively. That's brought to us by E.D. Marshall Jewelers. David Peralta in left, Starling Marte in center. John Jay gets the start in right field this afternoon. Eduardo Escobar at third base. Nick Ahmed and Cattell Marte once again up the middle. Christian Walker over at first base. Stephen Vogt doing the catching today for left-hander Robbie Ray. Our umpiring family Chevy dealer. Cole Calhoun is a designated hitter this afternoon. He'll be followed by Cattell Marte at second base. Starling Marte out in center field. David Peralta in left. Christian Walker down at first base. Eduardo Escobar across the diamond at third. Stephen Boat doing the catching today. Nick Ahmed at shortstop. John Jay in right field all behind left-hander Robbie Ray. And Nissan presents your San Diego starter, the veteran right-hander gear, with five innings of one-hit ball against the Diamondbacks in the first series this season. He was pretty impressive uh, in that game against the D-backs back on July 26. Big fastball, hard slider. He'll use those almost equally. He also has a sinker and a curveball he'll mix in occasionally. Jorge Mateo, Trent Grisham, and Edward Oliveros left to right across the outfield for the Padres. Manny Machado at third. Fernando Tatis Jr. at short. Jake Cronenworth at second base. Eric Hosmer over at first. Austin Hedges behind the plate today for the righty Garrett Richards. Cattell Marte. Cattell at 329. He is